Hi everybody, I'm Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another movie review. Recently, I saw Arthur, which I decided to get on DVD because I really love Russell Brand and I think that he's absolutely, positively hysterical. And this movie did not fail to um, entertain me and impress me as well as, as keep me um, laughing and there are a couple of moments that actually made me overclamped, but I won't say what they are. This is a really enjoyable romantic comedy, and it's a remake of the original, and I've never seen the original, but honestly, I just think that this one is far superior. And it's, it's just funny, but there are some moments that are just really heart-wrenchingly sad, and you really feel for Arthur Bach and just his livelihood and you wonder if he's ever going to make anything out of himself if he's going to do a complete 360 and um, I'm not going to give away any plot points or spoil anything for you because I really think this is a great film I would give it 3.5 stars out of 4 because it's a pretty solid film, but there were some moments that were, I thought, were kind of, um, lame and just, they were, um, superfluous, they really didn't have to be there, it was just too much of, um, Arthur just yammering away, which I, I thought was very characteristic of him. Just, just because he likes to be the center of attention, it's always ever known. So I, I guess that makes sense. Um, it was the only real nag I had with the film. I, I really didn't have very many. It, it's a, it's a terrific story. It's just absolutely, phenomenally well done, and and Russell Brand just shines in this role. I, I just think he's just, <laughs> he is really, um, extraordinary. And Helen Mirren, I just, I loved her. She was the typical, you know, staunch British maid and didn't take any guff from anybody, although Arthur is pretty much um, running the show and uh, calling the shots, but she wears the pants and she takes care of him. And it's, it's just, there's a lot of that that this hit me right here because like Arthur I'm a free spirit and I also take care of, of my father and the the plot is Arthur is given a um, an ultimatum for a proposal to um, somebody he doesn't even like in order to keep his fortune coming in and it's it's an arranged marriage, and he, um, is not for this at all, even though he did have a fling with this particular woman, um, a couple times in the past, and it really wasn't anything special, and he really didn't have any more fireworks or sparks with her. Chemistry's gone. Um... He meets another woman named uh, Naomi who, in contrast to, to his opulent lifestyle, she lives a rather um, middle class, uh, blue collar lifestyle. And I guess you could call her middle class. I don't know if you could call her lower middle class. But she takes care of her dad just, just like I do and I could relate a lot to that. And uh, just the combination of those two characters, I think that, that that's where I would be. But Arthur is a rather um, sad character who hides behind liquor in order to fill the pain and he has all, all this um, um, wealth and he uses his wealth to um, fill that gaping hole in his life that really can't be filled at all. That is until he meets Naomi and then sparks fly and it's, it's just really sweet. I, I love that little romance scene that 
that happens between them their their first date it's just it's so so sweet and it's just it really took my breath away and I thought if there were men like this in the real world man <laughs> I can't imagine but yeah men out there if you're paying attention women like to be wooed <laughs> they like a man who has intelligence wit is romantic and likes to chase his object of affection now typically uh, in this modern world a lot of women would say oh I don't like to be chased by um, by my lover well I just think that's boring and I'd rather be the um, the the chase e rather than the chase er just because I'm old fashioned and that's just the way I am but um Arthur is the chaser and Naomi is the chase e and I, I really enjoyed that and the dynamic between them and just the fact that they're from two different worlds and uh some obstacles happen in that relationship and well it, it, it ends happily and it's a really um wonderful movie and I really loved it I give it two thumbs way up and if you're a Russell Brand fan then this is a movie you must see this film or Helen Mirren Helen Mirren is just a <laughs> she is just a, a wonderful character and you just you love her although um, you realize sometimes she can come across as kind of a, a bitch but she 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 means well and she's just trying to give Arthur the best of everything and uh, there's actually a little part of her uh, romantic past that's revealed um, and I thought that was very intriguing it's just another side of her character because she's multifaceted just like Arthur is and it's just a very enjoyable movie and I, I just laughed and <laughs> there's one part in it I could definitely relate to and unlike Arthur he, he gets a job at the candy store and uh, his supervisor comes up to him and he says I have heard reports that there are customers on the floor eating candy and then Arthur turns around and he has this big blue blotch on his face and he says I don't know what you're talking about sir T clearly <laughs> he's just you know completely uh, bald faced liar and um, he says, perhaps I shouldn't have you working on the floor at all. And if I were working in a candy store, which would be a dream come true because I love candy, uh, I would be very tempted to be stuffing my face with jelly beans and <laughs> I'd be fat, but uh, <laughs> I'd be happy. Uh, I just could do it. And I can only have so much candy without getting sick of it. Seriously, I can only enjoy it so much without just wanting to vomit it. But it, <laughs> I could totally relate to that. I thought, yep, I would do that if you gave me the chance and, I, and nobody was looking. Yeah, I would definitely kind of sneak a few jelly beans while nobody was watching me, hoping that no one would notice a few jelly beans were missing from the... <laughs> missing from the bins. Oh, I'm not sure how that happened. I wonder... How that could have possibly occurred? Hmm. Well, my hands are clean, so you can't prove diddly squat. Though I'm sure if they dusted for prints, they would be all over the place. I'm like, crap, I'm busted. But anyway, I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic. But I, I could definitely relate to that. And another thing I enjoyed a lot about this film, other than the humor of it, that that British wit, which I absolutely just love to death. I'm an Anglophile. Was uh, all the the different cars that Arthur had in his collection they were just fantastic cars I would love I would absolutely adore owning a whole <laughs> library I guess you could call it a library maybe a museum like Jay Leno oh, that would rock but anyway money uh, the 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 moral of the story in the the film is money can't buy love and money can't buy happiness and true happiness is found in simplicity and it's actually quite deep I never realized this until I just had an epiphany revelation struck me 
but the movie itself is uh, philosophical in that nature. It just you you see that, especially when Arthur undergoes his transformation, and there's a lot to be said from that, and a lot of us could learn just by cutting back and, and realizing just how beautiful life really is if you just slow down and take it all in and just marinate in it and just be overcome by the the wonderful qualities of it just how awesome life truly is life is awesome that's <laughs> all i can say and uh i will be reviewing um Godspell in the future, so stay tuned for that review next time. Catch you around!